so now we're coming back to give the quests again our friend Jojo is gonna be breaking his head <laughs> he did it and who you doubt my strength are simply foolish oh uh, you should mind your words welcome rewritten wisdoms New gloves. I'm with you. Yeah. I think it's time we care of this problem of the the Hojin way. No more patience, no more meditation. We go to the source. We're going into the Hosen village to the north and we're wiping those smelly troublemakers out for good. I've been looking forward to a chance to fight by your side again. Welcome. I need you to understand that the way of the Hojin is not the way of violence. When fighting is needed, we will not hesitate, but when fighting is not needed, neither do we instigate. However, the direct solution is often cutting the head of the snake, as they say. The Hosen have a leader instigating these attacks. If we remove Rook Rook, we won't have to wipe the Hosen out entirely. It's good to see you. The monkeys have been stealing from the village during their attacks. We should be fine without some of the extra food stores, but the idea of monkeys with fireworks... I'm a little bit concerned. Not to mention who knows when some fireworks will come in handy. So, we have two. Kill the Hosen leader, kill some Hosen, and recover the stolen fireworks. And we will not be doing this all by ourselves. G is gonna help me with this. Oh, Jade Tiger Pillar. Yes, this is going to be an item of great interest for our friend Jojo. Oh yes. Very much. <laughs> well, I can see somebody just killed the rock rock. Well, in the meantime, I will just collect some fireworks. Hopefully, he will respond soon. Fireworks. Time to act is always now. And now time for the hosen. For the monkeys, little pesky monkeys. I hate them. Well, I shouldn't because some hosen are not as bad as these ones. 
the Chosen will be our allies in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms in Daria. They will be residing along with us, with the Ford. I say us because I am I am play Horde characters. Well, the Alliance, let's say allies, will be the Yin Yu. Some kind of fishy men. They, they, they look like fish. Well, when you're gonna play Mark, you're gonna see many of them in Pandaria. For now, we have those little pesky monkeys. Come here. I cannot do that yet. That ability is not ready yet. Not ready yet. I cannot do that. It's not ready yet. I cannot attack the target. Okay, four monkeys to go. That ability is not ready yet. Let's go back to our friend Jojo. see if he can break this jade pillar I brought him. <laughs> yeah, he didn't manage to do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie down a while until this headache goes away. Huh. He looks like like a sleeping dog on the carpet. <laughs> Isa has been meditating on the lake since we've arrived. All her thoughts focused on that thing. I don't know what she hopes to discover out there, but she's no fool. And Master Shang-Chi has entrusted this task with her. You will need to cross the ropes leading from the end of the dock to reach her. It shall test your balance, but I think you're up to the task. Okay, let's cross these ropes. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a little bit. Roll. Okay. Patience is the highest. I'm impressed. Condition. Most students that, that, that are even capable of reaching this spot do soaking wet. So soaking wet. If you listen long enough, the wind will carry the answer to you. Da Feng, the spirit of air, has been scared from the sky, scarred from the skies by the onyx serpent. He hides within the chamber of whispers at the south side of the plateau. Go to him, G and I will join you there. Okay, some balance lesson again. And we're gonna take the shortcut. Yeah.
Okay, so we're approaching the Chamber of Whispers. Dafeng should be there, our last spirit to recover. Wait! We need to wait for the winds to settle, then make a break for the cover of the far hallway. Okay, whatever you're saying. Let's go. Wait for another opening. I'll meet you on the far side. Yes, here is the thing. Frightened as you approach, but settles a bit by the sound of your voice. Hello, friend. Dafeng, the spirit of Ares, terrified by the Onyx Serpent Monk. We must help him face that fear or face it from him for him ourselves. When I told Ji of the serpent, he said he had an idea and would begin preparations outside of the chamber. Despite his rash nature, I must admit I envy his passion and conviction. Let us go outside and confront the Onyx Serpent. Well, I find this quest a little bit annoying, but hey, what is a game without annoying quests? Here is the Onyx Serpent, it looks beautiful. Similar serpents are going to be the mounts for every race. Available for every race. Not ready yet. That ability is not ready yet. So I should not beat him up like this. Yes, because he's now awakened, not incapacitated. I must use the fireworks in here. And wait until the serpent is overhead. Not yet. Okay, now. Just a little bit. Come on, go down. him off. I do not and fight by my side any day. Okay, to whom do I speak? Here is the master. My time is passing, but your time You have helped out the spirit of find his courage. The final spirit has been restored. New cloak. The four elemental spirits will help you speak with the land and uncover its plight, but first I have a small task to ask of you. Join me, my pupil. Accompany this old Pandaren to the western grove. Defeat um, the guardian of the elders. We have one final journey to take together before your training is complete. Beyond the Elder's path lies the Wood of Staves, a sacred place that only the worthy may enter.
by the way, a pretty nice model. A stone tiger lion. Tiger. Too bad I had to silence you. The Wood of Staves. And, here and soon we will know the purpose tasks while I of this wood. Because it's a special place, especially for masters such as Shang Xi. You faced forest spirit sprites in the Tranquil Valley, but the forest sprites in this groove are a different breed, crueler and more dangerous. If you would clear some of these sprites out, the spirits would thank you. We have a ritual to perform, but we require some of the charms from this groove. If you wander the groove, you should see them all over hanging from the trees. If it does not offend one as young as you, will you permit me to sit and recover my strength while you gather these charms? Of course, master, of course. And here is a very interesting place called Liu Lang's Final Rest. Well, this is practically the groove of the first Pandaren who roamed on the back of this giant turtle. Good night, Shenzhen Su. Do not mourn, old friend. I sleep, and when I awaken, my next great journey begins. Liu Lang. This location marks the final resting place of Liu Lang, the first Pandaren explorer. Weary from a lifetime of travels, he rested under the shade of his trusted bamboo umbrella and drifted to what lies beyond. According to legend, the unusual tree growing in the spot sprouted from that very umbrella and his spirit has merged with the lands of Shenzhen Su's back. In the generations that followed, many of the island's elders have followed each plantic his or her staff in the ground to create the Wood of Staves. So, Basically, the Wood of Staves is a big graveyard in which every master, prior to his passing, comes here, performs a little ritual, plants his staff, and then simply dies. So, this is the task I that I'm going to do now for Master Shang-Chi. I need a target. Not really. I cannot cast that yet. Here is one. Just two more charms. There they are. Okay. It is too I cannot do that yet. Is not ready yet. I cannot do that yet. I need to target something first. Not ready yet. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip this part a little bit. Okay, we go back now to Master Shang Chi. And he shall tell us a little story after turning these two quests. Where you pass, greatness follows. My time is passing, but your time approaches swiftly. This journey shall soon be yours to undertake without me. Stay for a few moments and listen to an old man's words. Let my knowledge serve as a foundation for yours, that might, you might be greater than I ever was. 
For 3,000 years, we have passed the knowledge of our people down. Elder to youth, master to student. Every elder reaches the day when he must pass on and plant his stave with the staves of his ancestors. Today is the day when my staff joins these woods. Our people have lived the whole of their lives on this great turtle, Shen Zin Su. But not in hundreds of years has anyone spoken to him. Now Shen Zin Su is ill, and we are all in danger. With the help of the elements, you will break the silence. You will speak to him. Asa and G have retrieved the spirits and brought them here. You are to go with them. Speak to the great Shen Zin Su and do what must be done to save our people. You've come far, my young student. I see within you a great hero. I leave the fate of this land to you. And he's gone. Well, too bad. Well, apparently we're going to be the first ones to talk to this great turtle. And how are gonna, we're going to do this? By taking this little balloon. We are ready to go whenever you are. Or, if you want to wander the woods a while, Asa and I can hang out here. You know, just the two of us. Do not listen to him. We've got work to do. <laughs> Discipline and practice lead yeah, us to flirting. our Yeah, flirting. And Darren flirting. <laughs> okay, and you. Nice. Uh, now is not the time to grieve. The balloon is ready and Shenzhen Su awaits. We shall be the first Pandaren to speak to Shenzhen Su in hundreds of years. It is a great honor. Hop in. Okay. Now we're gonna have a very interesting, let's Where's call it, cutscene. Master Shang? Gee, they were in the Wood of Staves. You know where Master Sheng is now. Oh, let a Pandoran hope, would you? I'm going to miss the old man. Ji, be respectful when we speak to Shenzhen Su. When am I not respectful? You hurt me, Asa. I might, if you embarrass us. Shenzhen Su, we are the descendants of Lu Lang. We have sensed your pain, and we want to help. What ails you, Shenzhen Su? What can we do? Shenzhen Su, but I your shell is large, so and I do not know where this thorn own. could be. It is in the forest, where the your thorn? feet do not walk. I left my choices at home. Continue How could along the mountains, so long. and you will find it. We will know soon enough. Well, he is really big, as you can see. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is yes. that a boat? We have a boat in here. It is a boat. A whole airship. That's a bigger thorn than I was expecting. Those aren't Pandoran down there. They've got no fur. It looks like they've crashed. So Don't this is the thorn Shenzhen Su was speaking about. Someone has crashed into and our for the island. record, this Removing airship this may be more complicated than we thought. is the Skyfire. Yes. Know, and then the same airship on which you fight with Warmaster Blackhorn 
in the Dragon Soul raid before fighting on the spine of Deathwing. So this is the connection between Cataclysm and the Mist of Pandaria. It's the continuation of the lore, of the story of the game. So, now we have to speak with the Elder Shao Pai in the temple and head on to our last task. And why this companion keeps summoning itself? Hey, come on, it's a bug. It's clearly a bug. Get out. Okay, poor spirits. And Ding Ten. It is up to all of you to remove the thorn from the side of Chen Xin Su. Do not let your differences come between you. Trust in each other. Within the Pei Wu forest is a lone hermit. Head directly to his hut. He knows intimately of the dark things that now lurk in the trees. So, before doing this, I'm going to choose the specialization. Yes, this is the new window. Well, for now I have only the specialization tab. And now, when it comes to talents, you gain one talent point each 15 levels. So at level 15, I'm gonna have one point talent. Then level 30, 45, 60, 75, and then 90. So, the monk can be a brewmaster, a tank, a sturdy brawler who uses liquid fortification and unpredictable movement to avoid damage and protect allies, blackout kick, Dazing Haze, Guard, and Breath of Fire are his main abilities. The Mistweaver is a healer who mixes traditional herbal medicine with Pandaren martial arts. His main uh, abilities are Soothing Mist, Renewing Mist, Surging Mist, and Uplift. Bear in mind that uh, when you choose a specialization, all these abilities you're gonna learn them automatically, without the need to go to a trainer. And uh, DPS, Windwalker, Pandaren, Monk, and Martial Artist without Peer who pummels foes with hands and fist. Uses Jab, Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, and Fists of Fury, which I'm gonna show you right now, because I'm gonna choose... Hmm... Well... I've chosen Windwalker yesterday and I'm kinda interested in the... Yeah, but... No, no. I'm gonna choose Windwalker. Yes. And Fist of Fury appeared automatically on the shortcut bar. Exit. Let's head to open the two gates before the Peiwu forests comes to us. I have learned first of fury and the new passive effect dual wield. When you choose the Windwalker specialization you learn dual wield. Okay, the first gate is open, and we have our friend Jojo with us, with his jade statue that almost broke his head. Well, he will be helpful right now. Good for me.
Yeah. He just used this big statue as a key. Okay. We are in the Pei Wu Forest. And this will be the last zone. In this pen in the starting zone. The forest has become far more dangerous ever since Shenzhen Su began shaking. The tigers are agitated and have begun attacking the refugees, and on occasion me as well. If these injured and weak survivors are to make it safety Alliance? there if at the, the hut, we need to help theirs, clear the forest for them. them. Jojo, would you come with me? We need to dislodge that ship, Koga. If we help your crewmates, can you help us? Strength and honor. Well, my men are malnourished, injured, and exhausted, but they are horrid. Everyone will fight to their dying breath. As our new ally, we will stand by you when the time comes, but we would stand stronger with weapons. I have my men out gathering bamboo stalks to fashion into spears. If you can spare the effort, we could use the extra pair of capable hands. The horde stands by you. So, kill six tigers, collect ten bamboo stalks. A relatively easy task. When there are not tigers around, of course. Okay, there it is. And here. And the tiger incoming. And let's look at this new attack, Fist of Fury. Yeah. So... Pummel all targets in front of you with rapid hand strikes, stunning them and dealing 64 to 99 damage immediately and every 1 second for 4 seconds. Damage is spread evenly over all targets. It's a pretty nice ability. At higher levels the monks will have even more, even nicer abilities. Like a flying serpent kick or lightning like Darth Vader used in Star Wars. Which looks kinda cool. <laughs> it is too far away. Do that yet. Okay, I will skip this nonsense. It's a little bit boring. 